Hello and welcome to tutorial number three for advanced steel in and dynamo. In this tutorial I'll be running through the process of creating dynamic plates within dynamo and then automating the changes within advanced steel. So to start I'm going to create um, some cylindrical coordinates. So I'm just going to add my the point by cylindrical coordinates node. I'm just going to use my node search library and I'm going to put in two of these and I'm just going to copy and paste. Okay, so I'm also going to add to this. So this looks for four inputs. It looks for a coordinate system, an angle, an elevation and a radius. So I'm going to start with the E coordinate system. So I'm just going to add the identity for the coordinate system. So I'm just going to connect that to each. And then what we want to start to do is start to build in the controls for how we can make this dynamic. And I'm going to do that by adding some integer sliders. And uh, probably best to search for a slider. I'm just going to add six of these. So to control the various different input methods that I will have. And then I'm going to rename each of these so we can start to see the controls and I actually need one more so there is six I'm just going to move these into position so the first slide of that I will want to control is for the the angle of my um, cylindrical points so what I'm going to do is set out the, the, the angle from 0 to 360 degrees of what I can control um, and what I'm going to also do is that I'm going to create plates but split them into sort of polygon panels. So I'm just going to go the number of panels that I wish to use in this. So again, there's two integer sliders. And then I'm going to, what I'm going to do is then control the, the basic size and shape of the, 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 um, the set out of the, the panel. So I'm just going to go the height at the bottom. So this is basically going to be the, the Z offset within my model and uh, let's set a radius at bottom for that one and then it's just going to be similar for the top so the height at the top so this will control the height of my plate within the model and then I'm going to have a radius at the top so now that I've built in my controls, I'm just going to zoom out slightly and just move these a little bit. So what I really want to do is to divide the number of panels into the predefined angle um, that I want. So I'm just going to put in a simple um, divide operator. So and I'm going to connect that this is going to be X, this is going to be Y. And then what I want to start doing is, is start sequencing this. So I'm just going to put in um, a sequence control and I'm just going to move these ever so slightly to the side and this is what we're now going to do so I'm going to connect my number of panels to the amount in the sequence so that's going to control how it moves and this angle divided by the panels is going to be the step and then I'm just going to enter a simple code block for the start point of zero and I'm going to connect that to the start so you can sort of see what I'm doing here is that I'm dividing the angle and the panels that's going to control the step and the amount of the panels and then a simple start point so now that we have these controls we can now start to put them in to control the the points in the system so the sequence is going to control the angle so I'm going to connect that to both both um, cylindrical points and then we can put the nodes in for the the height so the height remember we put the height at the bottom so we connect that to the elevation node here and then the radius at the bottom will be the radius here and then the height at the top as you can see it's all relatively simple where we start to connect these in so now that we're starting to collate all our information together and we're starting to define the points we can add a simple watch node if we want to just see exactly what is happening with each one And you can see that it returns the points on my list. So I'm just going to remove my watch node again. 
And now what we want to start to do is combine these into individual lists with drop items. So I'm going to create four of these to control the four lists that I want to start splitting up. And I just want to add some quick numbers in so it'll all calculate correct. And I don't want to add a boolean, just a, a number node, which is going to be this. So put these here and here. And then what we want to start to do is start connecting the points on this list to here and to here, this one from here to here, and then the amounts here to here and here to here and the point here and I'm just going to go minus one and then a positive one in this and then I want to join all these lists together so I'll use the join node and I want to add four lists and I want to add this list and then what we need to do is add the list combine node and we will add all these in together. So I want to create four of these and then I connect each one as required. And then we list that into here. And you can start to see that we're starting to get the definition of the points. But because all of my values on my sliders are set to zero, it's obviously just creating a, a single point. And then we want to co coordinate these all into the polygon. So I've created four points on each one, which will form the four outer points of my plate. And I want to create all these combined into a polygon. And then we will simply use the advanced steel node for creating a plate based upon a polygon. And then it should be a simple case of adding this in here. So, start looking at these integer sliders. So what I would probably do on this is set the degree of 36, and I'm gonna say the minimum is going to be 10, and I wanna step it every one degree. And then I will say that I want say 232. So the number of panels, I tend to limit to 25, but again, unlimited. And the minimum number of panels I will want is going to be two. So I'm just gonna say it's gonna be 13 panels. And then this it controls the geometry of the actual height and shape of the plate. So the minimum height is going to be zero and the max height that we may want to move elevation wise, let's say it's 15 meters and we have a step of 100. And then we start to control the radius field. So let's say the minimum radius we would want on the bottom is going to be one meter maximum, let's say 15. And again, a step of 100. And then we can start to say that the radius at the bottom is it's going to be 5,600 and then this controls the height. So let's say the top height of the plates will be 20 meters, minimum a meter and let's step it every 100. And then it's just a similar for the radius. The radius at the top, let's say it's going to be 12 meters, step it every 250 and the minimum radius is 2,500. So now that we've everything connected together, we click the run button, click into our advanced steel and you can see what it has done it has automatically created some plates if we change the run method to automatic we can now start to control so you can see by changing the number of panels it changes the actual number of advanced steel plates that it creates you can see it's quick and dynamic. The angle controls the angle from on the circumference that of how much it will create. And then we start looking at the heights of the radius at the bottom. Starts to change, let's say the height at the top, we wanna to slide it up. And you can see as we change, everything becomes dynamic. You can see the power of dynamo really coming into its own. You can start to automatically dynamically create
curved polygon plates at the flick of a slider.